one welcome to starting the month and i was actually just going to say like one it's just great to see all your faces it's great to be with you and be around people that want to make the best of their life their health and the people around them and achieve more and invest in themselves and you know the number one thing about this call right here right now is the fact that you're here like honestly showing up is like 90 percent of the equation and i mean i've seen a lot of you nod your head you guys know that that's the case so i just we do this every single month jumpstart your month to really take ownership of inspecting what we expect we have a the ability to live our life on purpose and create whatever we want you don't have to compare it to anyone else we all have our own visions for what matters in our life and part of that is you know building this business building people and taking those next steps and it's just one pretty amazing community and you're going to catch me all jazzed up here i'm, I'm, I'm kind of um, losing my voice we had a lot of celebrations over the last few days a lot of celebration calls um and uh so uh, I got some great stuff tonight. A lot of it's just continuing to practice the same thing, guys. I, I shared today that, you know, I'm eight years in this process and I'm still doing the basics that Doug talked about on that boot camp as we started off here this month. So um, first, let me share my screen real quick. And uh, we're going to have some tips shared from people here that are on the call right now. Um, and some of you will catch this later, the recording. Um, Sorry that you weren't able to be on live and you're catching this. You missed that on all the fun. Um, but if you guys, as we start off here, you guys, guys, we had an incredible month last month. If you have something that's really working for you or something that was an aha or some, or a re-aha or a rediscover, go ahead and throw it in the chat so you can just, one, brag on yourself on how well you're doing and also share that piece because that's honestly what we're doing here. We're just a bunch of people being better on our health and being better at helping others here. So let me get my screen shared real quick all righty guys and actually um we went back to our jump start your month it just felt right you know with all the momentum we have this is about jump starting your month it's february it's one of the um shortest months but it's one of the best months and you know we want to take advantage of all 28 days that are here and i wanted to just start off by just really saying a big congratulations to everybody um it was incredible more than just ranks that, that happened, but we had a lot of them. A lot of people just hurt, personally hit new highs in all areas of their life. Like I had some conversations with many of you guys taking ownership of being abundance in your finances and owning that and being good stewards of that. And just like, it's just, it's been fun to watch the mind shift of people being like, I had no idea that I had the ability to live at this level. I thought this was for other people, not just for me. This is an amazing vehicle we have. And Don, I see you nodding your head. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, I just want to give a big congrats to the big thinkers. And this is something we're going to give a big props to over the next little bit is people running um, 9,000 or 10,000 volume and higher. They're running a strong business, um, you know, uh, and that's going to grow, especially this month with if you guys putting in the work with that. So big congrats to Susan, Shane, Brian, and uh, Don, Allison, Petty, gosh, you, you are an animal with the people you help. Kelly Harris, Nicole, April, Cindy, Lee, Lisa, Carlene, and Mike, Lindsay, Shereen, and Paul, Tim, and Kelly. You guys are incredible. We had new regional directors, Jessica Elder. I love her and Josh. Joshua's heart for people. So great to see her help, uh, help them help Becca, Hitty D. So new executive directors, Becca, Jan, Kay. Congratulations, Kay. We got to talk yesterday. Why? I was changing a poopy diaper. Like that's just literally how real life is. I was changing my son's diaper. We got to celebrate creating ED. Danny, you hit uh, ED, congratulations. Jason and Robin, really awesome. And we had a lot of new senior coaches. And I, and I apologize if I didn't catch everyone. Uh, Office of Motion doesn't always update exactly perfect. But um, um, so if I missed anyone, just congratulations. And, and a big congratulations to everyone. And I, we take some time to do this because you know, I don't think we get to pat ourselves on the back enough for what we do. I really want to recognize what we're all doing here together. Whether your name's on this list or you know you personally hit a new high um, or you just know that you're working or you're, you're hitting that sweet spot in your business, um, just a big congratulations here. So we're going to jump into this month and we have some different things to share um, and some people to hear from. I'm just really inspired by it. I could have had so many people share as always and I already see a lot of the things in the chat, congrats, and a lot of great tips that are working for people. Um, um, what was I going to say there? Is, um, you know, we're off to a great start. Many of you guys are in the boot camp. You guys all loving and ready for this Saturday's boot camp? Yeah, it's, I think pretty, everyone's pretty excited about that. Um, so 
this month is really about when we come to this, you know, many of us are sitting here saying, I want to help more people. Like, wow, look at those people on the big thinkers list. You know, how are they doing that? And, you know, many of you guys are discovering that it's just committing to those basics, staying through the process. And we have a few people that we're going to share some things, but I wanted to share one of the, have a couple share uh, real quick. We have a new global directors um, this month, um, Tim and Kelly. Giardino hit uh, global director, so congratulations. And for those of you that are globals on the line, you guys know that it's so much more about your team that you're supporting. And if you're like me, when we hit global and presidential, I forgot to check the back office because I was just so stoked about the, the partners that were doing so well. So Kelly, Tim, I thought I'd have you come off for a second here tonight and just share kind of like some of your tips. You know, you're on that Big Thinkers crew. You know, you've been doing this for a while. Just share some tips with this crew here tonight because you all know where they're going if they, can, if they keep committing to this process. Well, thanks, Brad. I'm going to jump in because Tim's finishing another Zoom. So, yay, I get the uh, floor, which we all know I love. But what I really want to just say is, you know, this um, it's amazing to reach this level in our business, but it's only because of our team and their hearts. <laughs> and that... Um, we love them so much. Sorry. <laughs> they snuck up on me, guys. So, but you know what it is? It's about sticking with the basics and um, knowing that what we hear from you, Brad, and Doug, and in the boot camps, it's just getting to those basics because we're here to help people. And then we're here to help our teams accomplish their goals. And we're here to listen and hear what it is that we can bring because Take Shape has something for everyone. And that is really... Um, the ultimate uh, win for us, it is amazing to um, be at this point in our business, and our career. We have been here a while. <laughs> We've been doing this for a while, uh, four and a half years. And, you know, we just stayed consistent and we kept listening uh, to what our leaders were saying and going through the model of what is really um, the core value of this, and that's reaching people and helping them where they are, meeting them where they are, knowing what we have in our toolkit, and knowing what we can plug into their life to make their lives better. And I just can't tell you um, how much we love and respect our team members that um, this is all built on. This is all for them, this isn't for us, but um, you know what, we get to now be um, another level of leadership for for them so that they can know that anything's possible because we came from very, very different backgrounds, you know, and everybody does. And so we're just thrilled about this. And thank you for the opportunity. And I would just say if any anything, any tip is don't forget your basics. You know, that great quality client support is amazing what happens when you love on people and keep um, loving on them, even sometimes when they're not really 100%, because that's when they need us most. So, um, yeah, stick to the basics, stick organized. That's still one of my places I'm working really hard. Um, but it's, it's just about that. And I just um, think, you know, it, it's, it's really about all of us doing this together. And that hashtag better together never gets old. That's, that's what I would just say. I love that, Kelly, and uh, I know Tim sends the same sentiments, and actually, I'd like to just have you share one last tip with people, because I remember saying something to you that actually led to where you're at today. You know, you had me on, like, celebration call after celebration call, and I just remember saying, like, you guys committed to even more strongly following the basics, and not just, I mean, you, you fell in love with helping others, and you brought another level of care with taking ownership of your health and taking care of your clients, and I remember telling you, I don't know if anyone, and this is a huge compliment because I know how much people have strong relationship with their clients. I said, I don't know if anyone has as many clients that love them as much as they love you and you love them right back. And that was a predecessor to where you're at now. Like it's not that, you know, I mean, that's, that's where it starts. So do you have anything that helped you make that shift? Because you made a shift, not a monumental shift, but you kind of kicked it into overdrive about halfway through last year. Yeah, we did. And I do remember that, Brad, because uh, it, that's a huge compliment. And it is about where, you know, our, you're meeting people. And if I had to probably choose one top thing, and, and hopefully I think my team would agree that we talk a lot about this, but it's about just staying um, present with your clients, but more so getting to know them. You know, I kind of laugh with some of the people, some of the great leaders on our team and say, you know, do you know what their kids' names are? Do you remember that they were going to go hang out? Or, you know, those are the things in our clients, my client celebrations, you know, everybody does a little different. But I sometimes, you know, get caught up in their life um, for those few minutes a week 
And I sometimes we forget, like, oh my gosh, what you know, what what else was your victory? Because it really helps to just let them. It builds the trust that you mean what you say when you're on this journey with them for life, and that you learn what their life looks like and what really impacts their life from their health changing. Because it's not always the weight loss. Um, a lot of times, it's how they show up in their families. It's how they show up to the events that they're expected to be at and things like that. Um, and that's what I would say is just don't forget to get to know them really well. And those notes, um, if you can't keep them mentally about their life, keep them down because they appreciate it so much that you listened and cared enough to remember. I love that, Kelly. Congrats again. And just I know how elated you are for your team. It's some great stuff and a lot of people getting healthy. So congrats. Great tips. And I actually want to bring on just a couple people as we start this. And I love just everyone shared like what's working well for them in the chat. Um, one person I wanted to bring on real quick for just a quick tip um, is uh, mine, Bonnie. And Bonnie and I were chatting, and Bonnie kind of reached out to me at the start of last month. She said, I just don't know which way is up. She's had some health issues. I mean, Bonnie's down. She lost over 80 pounds, like at her, like at the very least of her health journey. She is just a champion in her health. And she just reached out and said, I just need to get my game plan. So I let her know about the sponsoring boot camp. And she ended up the month way further than what she said and she's having so much fun with her support and she had all these great ideas so i just thought i'd have bonnie come on for a second and just say bonnie what are some of the things that are really working for you because you've been so diligent with your map you feel so great about what you're doing it's rippling into your health i'm giving away all your stuff what are just some of the things that you would share with people that's really working for you that has really been lighting your fire this last little bit and helping you accomplish those goals and i i, I went ahead and i'm you to do I see that, Brad. Thanks, Brad. I didn't know what to say, but you said almost all of this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I kind of took it away from you. So I was down in the dumps, and Brad did send me the boot camp, and I was thinking about it, and I thought the first three things I did was I knew I wanted to make a change, so I made the decision, then I made the commitment, and then I'm doing the follow-through. So, you know, one thing is you got to follow what these guys tell you to do. They know what they're doing. So I did my map. I didn't like the numbers on my map and I wanted to lie, but I won't lie. So I put the real numbers on there and I decided I was just going to start talking to people. And somebody, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if it was um, Dan or um, uh, Doug, but you know, I've got a whole new mindset about we have a gift to give to people. And I've been just thinking about that. We have a gift. We save lives. People get healthy. So I set a goal that I want to talk to five people. It was why it was at the boot camp and it was like the last week of the month. And so I went into this girl in my office who had said um, she had taught she wanted to uh, talk to me like six months ago. And I put it off and I put it off and I finally said, I really would like to share what I do with you. Would you be willing to take the time? Oh, yes, yes. For you, I'll, you know, do this, blah, blah, blah. So we sat down and I asked her how she was and everything. But what she shared with me that was so amazing, she never really asked me very much about the plan. And then she just said, what do I need to do? And I know these people have said to me before, there will be people that will just give you their credit card. I said, all I need is your credit card and your address as I kind of picked myself up off the floor. But she did. But she said, you know, I've been struggling and struggling and my next stop was MetaFast. And she was going to go to a MetaFast clinic that we have here in Phoenix. And I know they charge. I don't know how much it is. I've heard it's like $2,400 $2, or something. And someone told me, I actually talked to a girl that had been on MetaFast. And, you know, she said that cleanse you have to do for three days, you drink the vinegar. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And, you know, so she, her next stop was MetaFast. And I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad I got to you before you got there. So my takeaway is just, Get out of yourself and try to, I mean, talk to everybody. You don't, I kept saying to myself, she doesn't know if she wants to be on this plan. She doesn't even know what this plan is. I don't know if she wants to be on it. She doesn't even know if she wants to be on it. So I've been having a lot of fun. I am, I don't play this very often, but I am disabled, so I can't drive. So if I have an appointment with somebody, I have to give props to Richard, Brad, because he drives me wherever I need to go. He drives, I don't have kids, small kids. I don't have anybody in ballet and baseball and anything, and he drives me to my to any of my appointments wherever I need to go. So that's really helpful. Yeah. Um, what else? I sent a poem, a Christmas poem, to my clients at Christmas. It was to the night before Christmas, and it was about goodies bringing into the house, and they all think I'm nuts, but they all liked it. And I followed my map, and I just I put people on there, and I'm just. You know, I'm just, I, I'm getting out of myself and saying, I, we have something to offer. We have health to offer. And if you don't want it, you know, then I'll move on to the next person. Uh, Bonnie, I love it. That's why I wanted to call on you just because 
so many great tips. You're, you're having fun. You're following yourself. You're getting out of yourself and you're getting into your map. You're touching your business daily and it's, and it's reaping rewards for you. So thanks for sharing. And you know, I want to say one last thing, Brad, you know, you can never, one of the things you guys told me is, you know, I was kind of not where I wanted to be, but you, as long as you keep going, you know, I've gotten back, I've lost 10 pounds this month. So I'm getting back on, I, you know, I'm back on my health goal and it's not over if you just keep going. You can always start again. You can just start again and start again and start again. So that's what I'm doing. Starting again and committing to it and following through. That's honestly the basics for it. And you set out a goal and you completely obliterated it. And that's, that's what you're doing. It's yes. I can't, I can't say anything more because you're, you're totally doing it. So Bonnie, thank you for the tips. And I just love the other things you're doing. Like you completely, you sent out like follow up things. You sent out uh, a, a client or post to your inactive, or you sent out an email to your inactive clients. You've been posting daily. It's been fantastic. So I love it. And then the next person I was going to call on real quick just because he was a champion last month. Danny, I saw you on, new executive director. Can you come off mute and just share some of the things that you did last month that really made a difference? Because you've been kind of coaching for a few months and then you just kicked into high gear this last month. You got any tips that have been really working for you? Because I've seen you in the boot camps. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. You, I mean, I can see right. you. Cool. Hey, everybody. What's up? What's up? Um, yeah. You know, I think uh, – yeah, I've been coaching for a couple months and at first I was just getting down the basics and kind of the rhythm of working with individual people and, and all of that and the communications and all. And I've actually got a couple of my coaches on here and uh, give a shout out to Tony who made senior coach uh, this, this past month. He just brought it home and was kicking butt. So go Tony. Um, but I think what really helped me was uh, getting into doing the map and even for new coaches who don't quite know what map is. Map is kind of when you're just getting going, map doesn't have as much relevancy when you're just trying to get the senior coach um, as when you're trying to go beyond that and grow your business. And what are you trying to do? And it really helped me was two things. First, the boot camp was great, kind of going through, do the work. Dan Valentine said on a thing, do the work, make the list. What are all the contacts you're going to hit? Reach out to people. One thing that really lit things up for me this past month was just this kind of random acts of kindness that was just kind of reaching out to people and not about necessarily pinging them about their health just reaching out to people hey how you doing giving people a pat on the back touching people out and just like kelly says loving on the people and just saying hey you know i saw you're doing something cool what's going on in your life and people see what you're doing in terms of your posts about your health if you're leading with your health and you're reaching out to people they come back around and re-engage so that was really big for me working the map has been huge and um what really helped me bring things home this month was something we were talking about a couple of days ago, which is kind of saying to people, Hey, I'm putting together like a team or a, I called it a cohort. Cause I work in the, in the rest of my world, I work in uh, a lot of organization development and we talk about cohorts of people. I was working with Harley Davidson and we, uh, as a client of mine in the, in the corporate world. And we talk about working with a cohort of people about how they're developing leaders and developing people and skills and things like that. And so I use that term with people and I said, hey, I'm developing a, a team of folks that are going after their health who wants to get on this ride with me. And, uh, and I had a couple people jump right in. They're like, yeah, I want to be in. And it was a great way to say, because I'm really busy and I'm an executive in my business and everything, but I, like, I love coaching people. And I love developing this. And it was a great way to say, hey, I got a group of people, start together, work together, get them communicating together as a team, just like we do as coaches but folks who are going after a goal and it really worked. So it was a, a great way to give everybody a common goal together, have community, use our whole thing of community. Dr. A talks about that a lot about, you know, people who are unhealthy, hang out with other unhealthy people and unhealthy habits and kind of repeat that. So for, for me to just leverage that whole idea of healthy community and, and all that really worked a lot. So, you know, between using the map, uh, hitting people with uh, just loving on people and, and, you know, and a Mexican kindness, and then also uh, just kind of inviting people to go on the adventure. Like, who wants to get on this adventure together and be part of a team going after health together? So it's been great. I love it. Congratulations, Danny. Like, like thanks, Brad. Cohort is that what you said? Co a cohort, a cohort. Got it. <laughs> that or just a crew of people that want to yell. Everyone wants. Yeah, it's a crew. Exactly, it's a crew. It's a crew. Congratulations, new executive director. You just you kicked butt last month. So congrats. It's just a getting started. I know you got big visions for the month ahead. Thanks, man. Doing the map already for this month. 
course you are. That's why you are where you're at. That's why we're doing this call together. Um, last, last person I was going to call on was, um, won't, I mean, I love all of you guys, but this girl's got a special place in my heart, especially because she lets me give her a hard time quite a bit. Um, April, you are such a shining light. I wanted you to come on real quick because, you know, you went ED in our first boot camp about a year ago. And you committed to the process. And then recently you recommitted to even more in depth of the process. And you just crushed the, the Big Thinkers Club this last month. And you're just having so much fun. What are some of the things that you would share with people that you're doing? Because you just completely obliterated. You went from that seven, you know, seven, 8,000 to just blowing past 10,000 frontline volume in January. I know you're not stopping. So what do you got for people that made the shift for you? Because I know you made a shift about three months ago and it's working for you. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Um, there's a set, there's so many things. Um, I would say, you know, I'm going to just name a whole bunch of stuff because it takes a whole bunch of stuff to, to get there. Um, so first of all, I'm always re-energized by Zooms, by the boot camp, by doing the homework, you know, the, all that kind of stuff really adds up. Um, and then obviously what people always say about planting seeds, being intentional, being focused, um, a couple of little things that I do, but they all add up, is I request five to seven new Facebook friends per day. I go into people that I know that I'm friends with, and as long as they have at least 10 mutual friends, I friend request them. And I probably get one to two people per day that then accept my friend request. So I do that. Um, I add everyone I meet to my free newsletter. And I've had many people come on board that I just, I literally forgot about, but they've been getting my newsletter and all of a sudden out of the blue, there, you know, there they are. Um, I also, I do what, what we're trained in. I post on Facebook two to five times per day, mixing it up. I'll have a personal thing on there. I'll have a before and after. I'll have it's all different things. But the one thing about Facebook is a big deal to me. Big deal, right, Lori? Is... Um, that I am always positive on Facebook, always. I never do anything political. I don't even comment political. I don't even put a poll up about politics. There's no politics, ever. Um, so th that, that really is a, that's huge. Um, I also show up to lots of functions. I mean, there's times that I don't feel like going out. I just want to kind of sit around. But if I know that there's a possibility that I could meet people that I don't know, then I go and I talk about health coaching. They, they can't get away from it. Um, I, I always pass out my before and my business cards, which have a before and after picture of me, which is very, uh, it's, it's helped a lot. Um, and then when I'm just in normal conversation, I'll, fr I'll just say right there and then, hey, let's be friends on Facebook. And I, and I friend them right away. I've never had anybody say no. Um, another thing that was a big deal, and this is what happened like three months ago. I decided to take Tuesday mornings and dedicate my Tuesday mornings solely to health coaching. And I joined a leads group. And um, if anybody wants more information about that, I'm happy to tell them because it kind of goes on and on. But um, that's just another way to establish relationships with the purpose in mind that you are trying to refer business to each other. So it's, it's kind of just a natural. Um, and then also I, I try to lead in my, in my health journey by example. So I reached my goal weight about two years ago and you know, people see that I'm still pretty much there. Um, so I would say the, the other thing is, uh, as Lori Dufresne has always told me, think abundantly. And I'm going, to get, I'm going to be really transparent here, and I'm going to tell you about something. So last night, out of the blue, a guy that I know um, called me, texted me, and said, hey, I, I need to lose about 30 pounds. Can you meet with me? And I said, sure. I, I never thought he needed to lose weight, whatever. He's a pediatric anesthesiologist. So, um, and, and, he, and he, looks, he looks pretty good, and he's a free diver. He's very, very athletic. But I met with him and he immediately, he almost threw the credit card at me. That was fantastic. But I literally said to him, okay, probably not going to get you processed until like tomorrow, but you know, I'll do it. Because in my head, I knew how much my volume was. I knew I was way over the top. So, but I, I got home and I thought, you know what? Lori Dufresne always says, 
think with abundance, think abundantly. And it's like, why would I wait until the first of the month? Heck, put this guy in now. He needs help. So I put him in. I, well, I didn't put him in. I called because you had to call. And, you know, that's, that helps me a lot. I, I, I use Lori's words constantly in my head. And um, so the bottom line is, with all of this, is I think, because like, like Brad said, I did make ED, I think it was I, the first boot camp I was ever in, which was a year and a half ago, August, and I made ED that month. I've made it, thankfully, every month since, but it's because my one word would be, I'm consistent. I am totally consistent on every single thing that I just now mentioned. So. Thank you. April, that was amazing. And yeah, beyond words, like consistent and you can tend to be better. Like, so I think it's two C's for you're consistent and you can tend with yourself to be a better person and grow personally. And you grow your income, you grow your, the way you're being abundant in your life. It's just all good. I love those tips. And I think they really spoke to a lot of people. I mean, like the chat can't even keep up. So um, thanks April for sharing. You're amazing. Congrats. Um, as we kind of move into the uh, the kind of like the nuts and bolts of tonight, as we kind of kick things off, I actually invited um, the guy from boot camp and actually speak in April of you starting with the being an example of your health. He challenged all of us to uh, start with uh, the second of January. We're taking our health to the next level with where we're at. He's honestly my best friend. Speaking of, um, I'm getting all emotional on here today, but just speaking of abundant, great relationships and positivity that can be coming to your life through this avenue. And I remember talking with Doug when we were just, I mean, he was an ED, you know, I was maybe a regional. We just had a vision of becoming more, being around better people. And it's evolved into all these people. It's where you guys are honestly all going if you stay committed. So I actually invited him on tonight to kind of share the map. You know, I, 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 you know actually the map's kind of a brainchild of his and mine. And it's just, it's an honor that all Take Shape for Life uses it. So I actually invited him on so you don't have to hear my voice on it because you guys hear me every single month. He's my best friend, and honestly, it's, it's, a, it's, a real powerful, but it's a real powerful example of what happens when you link arms with great friendships in this community and have a vision for your life. So, Doug, I thought I'd invite you on to share some tips. These people want to know how, how, like, they're hungry to grow. They want to, like, they want to use all these resources. They want to have this happen. You started this boot camp because you know how it happens. Um, what would you do with them? I mean, not as much... A lot of these people here know how to fill out the map, and if you are new to it, connect with your support team. They will help you. It's a must-have. But just some of like the more in-depth, like if you're really going to own this month, one of the best months leading into like one of the next best months, what is it that you're looking at personally as a CEO in your business? I thought I'd ask you to share that with us tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. It's an honor to be here, and I'm so glad that you asked me. Um, Tim Kelly, congratulations. It's huge. Uh, milestone and uh, congratulations you guys uh, proud of you love you guys um, so cool you know I was uh, as we look at it, um, I'm just gonna share a little bit from my heart um, that seems to be the only thing that I can do usually um, well is to uh, share with you maybe a little bit of experience but if you look at um, four key things um, that is very special and milestones in this business. And I just want to say this before I get into what I was going to talk about, because, you know, you saw at the end of the month and Brad, you just shared, you know, all the rank ups and the exciting things. And first of all, senior coach, um, for you new senior coaches, hopefully you're not, but please don't ever take that lightly. You have just transformed five people's lives to start the journey of optimal health. And that's a big deal. That's a very big deal. And some of us, it takes a couple weeks to go senior um, or get your cab. Uh, others of us, like me seven years ago, it took me a couple months. Um, and I share that with you uh, because we, we had, our, had our eyes set on a goal, and I'll tell you what that was here in just a second. But one of those things was is that we um, knew that we had something special in our hand, and we were the only ones standing in the way of getting the word out there. I kind of look at Take Shape for Life like a domino. Um, thank you, Dr. Ray and Lori, for passing it on to, you know, Dan Bell and Dan Bell passed it on to Brian. Brian passed it on to Nancy and Terry Pettit and it went on to Brad and Brad's uh, parents and 
next thing you know, it went down. And, and I always feel like, and I don't mean to make this super like emotional, but I always feel like, wow, the domino got to me. I mean, if you have know, a picture of lining up dominoes and you put, and it kind of does a little circle. What if there's a stubborn domino? What if there's a domino that just won't fall over because of you can insert whatever you want. And I always look at that and go, who am I to hold up this train? <laughs> you know, from this domino cave from going really fast. And so senior coach is a huge deal. And next is obviously blended path executive director and on to FIBC and then from there on to global and fully integrated business leader. Uh, but I just think it's we're at a unique time. We're at an early part of the season. And how unique uh, this time of year is and the different lives that are being transformed and, and also the the coaches, the newer ones of you that are on, um, you're, you're in the right place and uh, you're a part of you know, our family and, and we, we welcome you with open arms. And that's what I wanted to share next is uh, I love how, and I don't remember, I know everyone's names, but Bonnie and April and um, I can't remember the gentleman that was speaking. I was sitting here listening to the tips that were being given and I was like, yes, 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 and yes. Brad, I'm hearing somebody else off mute. Um, you want to mute and then I'll unmute? I got you. Cool. So, uh, so with that, um, I'm like, the action steps have been already laid out tonight. And I'm going to talk, I'm going to focus on a couple key areas of the map here in one second, just because I think a couple of them get overlooked. And I want to talk about those just to help you guys this month, because what Brad said is, he's right, it's a short month. We only get 28 days. Uh, 27 as in a couple more hours and and the time goes a little bit quick this month but the surge in the, um, the I guess the tidal wave that built in January continues to build in February even though there's a couple less less days that that shouldn't really mean anything um, in fact Brad you were sharing this morning on boot camp that you and Ashley went presidential um, in a short month just like this uh, three four years ago and so it's it's all comes down to making the decision but means that the action steps, and I love the Facebook tips. In fact, um, I, I'm glad you also said that, April. My mom down here in Arizona is having really great success in a, uh, in a networking group right now. And, and just, you know, the ones that you show up to, I'm going to say it, Brad. You can go ahead and pull up the slide if you want consistently. <laughs> Brad's got a funny old uh, slide of one of my typos one time. But we can tell you the story another time. But um, because for the last three years, since – Actually, the last four years since my business has really grew. See, it took me a couple of years, my wife and I, to really get our business going because we, here's, here was our pattern our first two years, okay? I'm just going to share with you guys. Um, we would show up to April's networking group once or twice and then say, eh, we're busy next week and we wouldn't go. Or we would get excited about our health journey for a couple of weeks or we would do a couple of posts on Facebook and not enough people liked it or commented, or that one crazy person from church said, why are you always posting on Facebook? Um, and we would let that little, like, little minor things get to us, and we would stop doing right as the momentum was starting to build, uh, but we just didn't know it because for some reason we wanted things to happen fast, but what we later realized took us two years to figure this out, that we were doing the right action steps. We were following the action steps. In fact, MAP wasn't around at the time, um, but another structured um, plan was. And we would do it for like a month or, or sometimes a month and a half, and then we would stop doing what we were doing. And I, if anything, I could just say is the action steps have not changed in seven years since I've been a coach, eight years for Brad. And those action steps are... Well, let me say this first. Our program is so unique. We don't fit every mold out there. But what we do, what we do do is connect authentically with people. Because people around us, in our church, on our Facebook, and I love, I think, April, you said you're, you're befriending and reaching out and, and connecting with five to seven new people a day just to start building that influence. There are people literally giving anything that they could ever have 
to know that there's a program in our hands that can help them, that can heal them, that could be the answer to their prayer. And so my biggest suggestion for you guys is tonight, and this is going to sound so cliche, but please don't let it go one ear and in one ear and out the other. And yeah, I've heard them say this. Oh yeah. Tia has a shirt that says daily commitment to be consistent. There's a reason that I made that shirt three and a half years ago, because when you make the daily commitment to be consistent, even when it hurts, even when it's not easy, even when like April, I think it was April said, or Bonnie, I don't know, one of you said that I don't engage in drama on Facebook because I've chosen to live my life above the line that I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play in that same box. Being a coach and, and, and doing something like this really kind of pulls out all the stops within, but it usually really pulls out the, um, the personal, the transformational, the consistency factors that begin to bubble up and show up um, throughout our health coaching um, you know, c- c- career, I guess you could say. Brad, do you have anything you want to maybe, maybe expand upon or echo on that before I go into a little bit of the details of the map? Um, I think you're really saying it all. And what's great is I think most people here on the line have an inkling about this or they know it to be true. I know Tim and Kelly do as, as well as many other people online that I can list. Um, you know, we make a great income for supporting clients. And the cool thing is, is if you just keep that ripple effect going. One of my favorite quotes was from Dom Taranelli. And I know you remember him because he was like a brand new global when we first got started. Is, you know, he well underestimated what he could do to make his first year. But that man was passionate about his health and who he got healthy, but he way underestimated what he could make in five years because he was, that man is beyond consistent. And so I just have to completely echo with what you're saying. It, it really is. And I remember when you did, you, you started doing like trainings at your house. I remember that because we were doing similar ones in our local area. And uh, the first week, one person showed up, Molly and, and Molly showed up. And then the second week you're like, or you're the first week you're like, this is going great but no one started the second week, but you did a third week and people started showing up. You have to remain consistent or else you're just showing that it's just one of those things. People trust people that remain consistent. And that's honestly been our MO over this time, consistent action. Um, I can go into detail about it, but honestly, I've just, we've just been consistent and taken many different action and just remain grateful over all these years. So I don't even want to take away from what you're saying because you're spot on. Okay. No. Um, and, and you're right. So with that said, everybody, if, if for those of you that use a whiteboard, um, well, I won't show you the whole thing, but I keep a whiteboard right there. Um, and it's a really big whiteboard, so it goes all the way across the wall. And if I was you this month or at the top of your map, I would just write the word in Sharpie and bold, consistent or consistency. And put that in a few places that tend to possibly be your, your I'm not going to say your weak spot, but let's be honest, we all have those days. I don't know, maybe you guys don't, but I have some off days sometimes where I don't feel like it, where, and it's not just the dog pooping on the carpet, you're just going through stuff and you're contending. And those are the days that show up and matter so much, especially this time of year. And I'm not saying you have to just like turn around and fake it and, and turn on Superman as a coach. I think it's acknowledging those days and acknowledging that feeling um, and it's showing up to, you know, maybe taking that hour of personal time or recognizing the feeling. It's really becoming a, becoming a conscious health coach. It's becoming a, a conscious leader of, okay, you know, a couple of days ago I was excited. Today, oh, it's not coming quite as easy. However, I made the daily commitment to, to start having conversations today. Like Danny said, send five random texts of kindness I'm going to do it um, because, you know, Dave Blanchard taught me um, that there's three key things when you're feeling challenged or frustrated that, that help. Uh, one is exercise. Uh, number two is laughter. And these are in no random order. Um, so go see a funny movie sometimes, a matinee, <laughs> if you need to. Or number three, and this is my favorite one, pour into someone else. Send, you know, and this may be the hardest part, but send somebody a, a random video of kindness. Pick up the phone and call a friend and don't even tell them why you're calling them, but just say, hey, what's up? Long time no talk, how are you? And ask them questions, get them to talk. You don't have to do the talking, make it about them. 
I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, how you feel at the end of that call, when the call was about them, you're gonna get off and go, you're gonna feel that release of, wow, I just poured into somebody, and it wasn't about me, it wasn't about Take Shape for Life, in fact, I'm having a crummy day here. And so, for some of you guys that deal with some once in a while off days, like I do, I encourage you to start building those habits, so those slumps, um, those slump days or those off, you know, here and there weekends, uh, you know, some of you guys that are really contending like all of us, but I'm just saying that are really contending for our health right now, you know, that are working from home or maybe have flexibility, maybe be working from home is not a healthy environment for you right now. Um, because that, you know, fridge calls your name to look at it and just stares at us, you know? So it might be going and working from, you know, a Starbucks, just to get out of the house, changing up the routine this season to change up the habits of consistency. So I don't know who that was for, but maybe that was beneficial to one person. Um, I wanted to uh, share this here. Um, for those of you that are part of boot camp, definitely recognize this slide. Um, but I love how it's a monthly action plan. And, and Brad, I'm thinking about changing the name this month. I think we might change it to monthly consistency plan. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun and we can, we can play it, play around with that a little bit. Um, and that's why I really want you guys to write consistency at the top of your map. I'm going to do the same thing. It's not sitting by me, but I'm going to write that and, um, and really take focus on this because what I love about this is it tells me where to put my time. Now I will tell you where to put your time. It's in investing just like April was sharing investing in new relationships, investing in encouraging, encouraging in current relationships while encouraging them um, at maybe a different level. And so, um, yes, this is the monthly action plan, but I just wanted to highlight a few things. Uh, number, um, let me get through that. Over here, um, obviously we, we put our, our full ordering clients on this, on this sheet. And we want to focus on, on filling that up. But I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about this because this area is results driven. This doesn't fill up unless we do what Danny shared, unless we do what Bonnie shared, unless we do what April shared, okay, on a consistent matter. So, you know, I'll just go ahead and share with you guys because Brad, I'm just kind of free flowing here. A couple of years ago, I would a lot of times do a challenge to myself and I was usually inviting people with me like, hey, let's all try to sign up, you know, three clients in the next three days. And as much as I love that, and I thought that was really cool, and don't get me wrong, we still have some fun with some versions around that now. But now, I like to challenge myself to, let's reach out and start 20 conversations over the next three days. Let's step out and do five random texts of kindness for three days in a row. Let's step out and, you know, uh, become friends with 15 new people on Facebook. Let's step out and maybe if we haven't yet done video on, on Facebook yet or Instagram, that we maybe embrace something that would be sharing our story, you know, for 60 seconds publicly when we've, all we've done so far is tell it via text and picture. Um, doing things like that is what's going to increase this section over here because because office in motion in the map is often a delayed result of what you did last week or the week before and so just just let that sink in for just a minute your office in motion and i know all of you know everyone who has seen your coaching above y'all had a smiley face or, or more we woke up this morning and oh, <laughs> back to square one well that's okay Think about how many people you followed up with last week. Think how many connections you made. And some of you guys are like, oh boy, I, I didn't do that many. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to start and make sure we do that tonight. We're going to make sure that we start five conversations tonight before we go to bed. And wow, what if I did that for 28 consecutive days? Yes, even when I go to Go Global, even when it's a Super Bowl party on Sunday and there's going to be family or friends in town. No, I still carve out time because I made the daily commitment to start five new conversations on Facebook a, a, a day, five times 28, I'm not a math wizard, but that's a lot of conversations and then you just keep circling back. So anyway, this right here is a result of the engagement and the conversations and how, how often you share your story. Um, I'm gonna come back to coaches here in one second. I'm just gonna move through this. Okay, here. 
your top 10 client candidates. This is my most favorite part of the map. Well, there's two favorites. And I'll, I'll show you in a second here in a second. Um, the, the, that one is the top 10 client candidates. This is like your warm list. This is your, you've probably already shared the program with them list. Hopefully it is. You know, this should come from your 75 to 100s contact list of people that you've been starting conversations with via text, via phone, on Facebook. You've been, you know, hooking up saying, hey, do you want to meet for coffee next week just to shoot the breeze? You know, those are all then seeing where those go and we're putting them on our top 10 client candidate list. Um, for those of you that pray, um, this is my top 10 prayer list. And it's not, you know, dear God, help them become one of my clients. It's if they're meant to, I just, you know, I pray for blessings over them and their family. Um, sure, if TSFL can benefit them, but this is, I read a book one time called uh, Draw the Circle by Mark Batterson. It's a really good book. And uh, we really started focusing in on um, really getting, you know, for us, it was praying for certain people that we knew that were on the edge of, of, of breakthrough. And um, for those of you that are on boot camp, I talked on Saturday about the 51 percenters. These are your 51 percenters. They, these are you. Some of you guys on the line six months ago, a year ago, three, four years ago, living a good life, but know that there was knowing that there's a missing piece, whether it be in your health or in your, in your financial health or in your mindset, or maybe some of you guys are just on this line tonight because it's like, Oh, I just need this community. If somebody said that, actually this community, these zooms are priceless. You're right. You learn a lot on them, but I tell you what, being a part of this group right here, I am better because we are better together right here. Somebody hashtagged that earlier. We are truly better together in its community and what we need. So with our top 10 client candidates, I spend a lot of time here almost, um, I'm going to put it in a, a dating relationship. When you were hopefully still dating your spouse, but let's just say thinking about asking a girl to prom in high school. Okay, let's go back to those days for a minute. What did you do? You probably did extra little special things to hopefully, as you were gearing up to asking her to prom, to hopefully n make sure that she would notice you, okay? Those are the type of things I'm doing for my pre-clients. I'm just giving them a little extra special attention. Some of my pre-clients I'm actually treating like a client because they've shared their health goals with me and they just haven't started my program, but maybe they started the gym. So they're a part of my kind of my weekly check-in, like, hey, how's the gym going? Great. Are you, are you getting your water in? You know, you're following up. You're giving them, you know, the fueling ideas. You're, you're building that relationship and rapport because if you, and hopefully you don't have any blanks on your map down in this area, but if you have 10 client candidates um, on this list tonight uh, and you treat those 10 like absolute queens and kings, I, I can't promise you because, you know, we, they have to come along at their journey, but I can almost guarantee you that more than half of them will come aboard this month. And then it wouldn't shock me from your other uh, candidate list if three to four more other people that you're, that are not even on your radar come aboard. So again, this area over here is results driven. This is transformational and relationship driven. And then of course my top 10 health coaching candidates, I'm going to speed. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, change up real quick. I'm going to go down here to actually an old map and just show you uh, where to uh, put your time. So uh, this is an, uh, uh, a, a, a map of some kind. And here, you know, as you're filling out your results driven side of, of office and motion, which is, you know, the clients, just know for a fact that um, we are not a weight loss program and we are not a diet. Um, we are an optimal health program and part of optimal health is healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances, healthy community, healthy relationships, um, being a part of something bigger, getting outside of our own way. It's, it's a, we're, we're a consistency community. We offer so much. And what we have found is out of, every, out of every four to five clients, there's always one person 
that it is in their best interest to, to pay it forward. And so I really want you to take a look at the left-hand side of your map of the results you've had from January. It means that it's the first day of the month. And like I said, if you're senior coach and above, this, this, this is for you. And, and, and Brad and them, they can point you in Simple Systems where to watch the map on detailing it. But for those of you that are senior coach and above, I really want you to look at your current client list and, and ask yourself, have I, and I'm gonna stop share here, have I um, congratulated them lately and told them maybe that they sound like a health coach? Have I challenged them to go public in their, in their health journey um, on Facebook? Not for me, because I've coached them well, and I heard that covered well tonight. I've coached them well, and I have now, I know, now know that they've been living for years in a diet closet, and they need to, to own their health. They need to, they need to go public. I will never forget the first time I went public on Facebook. And for me, it was take shape for life. But for me, it wasn't about here's my before and after. Cause I don't even know if I was a coach yet. My coach challenged me with this. And I remember when I was literally typing it up and before I pushed enter on Facebook, for me, I knew there was no going back because yeah, I probably prided myself too much, but it was like, if I tell people I got healthy, like I can't, live the old way. If I gain weight, people will know. I'm like, that's exactly what I needed. So challenge your clients to start owning their health, to start talking about it. Just, you know, I love to take my list on the left there and I, I make their before and after or their before and during for them. And I send it back to them and say, you look, look how far you've come. I, I encourage you to share this with your friends and your family or on your Facebook and things. So really work with that left-hand side of your map to really start offering this week. Um, let people know that they make a good health coach. Let them know that, um, hey, have you thought about paying it forward? You're not saying, do you want to be a coach? You're just, have you thought about paying it forward? You'd be really good. We should talk about that sometime and leaving people um, with that. And if you take you know, the map plus everything else you heard tonight, and again, that big old word that sometimes we love it and sometimes we hate it, consistency. Um, I think, Brad, the rank up, not that rank ups are bad or good, they're just a result of what we did for 28 days. And I think that Big Thinkers Club, that new EDs, that new regional, that new senior coaches list is going to look like this on every category. And it might have to go to two to three pages only because if we want to be celebrated or celebrate something new, 28 days from right now, what we do tonight, what we do tomorrow, and what we do this weekend will then hit our map the second and third week and fourth week of February. And um, I think we'll all enjoy the process. So Brad, thanks so much for letting me share. No, it was really good. I love that we free flowed a little bit more on this. We're getting so much great stuff from boot camp. I think the chat says it all. And um, I think this is like you and me. And we went to our first event and this is the real stuff that we really wanted to know that made the difference. Because ultimately we need to know it in here more than what we need to know up here. So I, I think guys and Doug, feel free to hop in on this as we kind of wrap up here today. Um, a lot of people ask me, because again, it's been Ashley and I's goal personally to always lead from the front. So I would encourage you guys, be a CEO of your business, but be a CEO of your life. Be intentional and be on purpose. Know what income you're making, but also commit to pushing yourself further. Don't shy away into the gray area. We're like, oh, I can kind of do that. Or, or maybe I'll be, I'll be, I'll be kind of lackluster committal. Be bold. I called out my volume. It's so funny what you speak into what you want to accomplish. It's funny how you land there. And I would say what I did to start off this month, I just want to share with you what I did because I just want to, I wanted to do it because one, I love doing it, but also I want to just be able to, this is what I did. Become omnipresent. This is the word that uh, Grant Cardone uses. Literally be so bold and so bright and so on top of your game that people can't ignore what you're doing. Slide a fire and let people watch it come and burn or let, it come, let them come and watch it burn. I made a list, literally have a list, and I just – a cohort, cohort, I'm going to have to get with you, Danny. I basically invited them to get healthy with me in 2017. I followed up. I sent emails. I sent another email. I posted on Facebook. I posted on Facebook daily. I followed the tips. April, I literally did verbatim what you did, and I just invested into people. And honestly, I, I did, a, I did a, a call on this, but I became obsessed with orders. I became obsessed, not because I wanted volume, but there's nothing wrong with making income, by, by the way, everyone. If we all were more abundant, this world would be a better place, and we were better stewards of our finances. I want those orders. I want the volume. But moreover, 
No one can say yes. To get, if they have an order, they're in our community. They're getting healthy. They've made their commitment like you've made the commitment to be here tonight to own your business and own your health. I became obsessed with bringing people into my culture and becoming part of my tribe. I literally woke up every single day. Who's the top of my list? Who am I getting on? Who, do, who needs to hear my voice? And I invited them in. And I never said it was too late because we even started a focus group in our Facebook group. Two weeks in, it's not too late, guys. You want to join me? I just loved on people. And that's what I did daily. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Do bold work, not busy work. That's my encouragement to you. Um, challenge yourself and just stay connected to the process. Get better every single day. And then the last thing that I obviously did, which – because you can't be obsessed with orders if you're not going to do the back-end work. I made sure that my client support days are rocking my schedule and that I was abundantly connected with my clients. And guess what? When you're also doing that, they're doing great. They thrive. It energizes you. makes you want to be better. And guess where? Guess who? Pe what people want to tell people about when you're serving them. They want to tell them about you and what they're doing. Again, you're just laying the ground for, for uh, coaching because you're making them a coach. They're already sharing what they know is changing their life whether or not you're already doing the work to plant the seed like Doug talked about. So Doug, I'm actually going to throw it back to you to kind of wrap up one last thing. You guys have always run high front line volume, always thought abundantly. Your last thoughts, as I know this is everyone's desire on this call, to have that passion, to have that um, desire, and to go out and accomplish this and be consistent. Um, one, like you said, a rank is a rank. A rank is not what you achieve. achieve you achieve what you desire for your life it's more about what's your life goal than what a rank goal is i actually throw it back to you being my best friend and just being a big thinker to just take these people home on one last tip to take on the month of february yeah well i'll, I'll tell you that brad and I'm, I'm thinking not how to say this but which part you know many of you guys know dan bell he wrote the compensation plan <laughs> God bless you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you for uh, blessing us and providing us this opportunity. Um, but Dan um, built this compensation plan and our structure and the way that we do things and the way that we measure ranks. He had to pick a number at some point that made sense for the company and made sense for us for the work that we did. Well, I decided a long time ago, it was, it was shortly after I'll just tell you, I'll never forget it. It was uh, summer of 2011 that um, I realized that I had spent the first year and a half to two years of Take Shape for Life. I would say playing by, and I'm going to use the word rules, playing by their standards and guide, guidelines and measurements of success. But I knew that I was playing small and I could do more. But I, I felt like Brad for about, a six month period, I, I fell into a little bit of a just enough mentality. Oh, well, Dan Bell said that the frontline volume goal to get my bonuses was 6,000. And so guess what? Every single month, I was doing just enough to get to about 6,200 in frontline volume. And, and but, but then I was wondering like, why am I, and again, it's not about the 6,200. It's about that I was doing something else for them because that was what the bar was set for me. But I realized that I needed to set my own standards. And 6,000 was never going to be a my benchmark. We felt like we run, we're more eight to 10,000 type of people. Okay, that's just like our mine and Tia's panic button of frontline volume is if on the 20th of February, if we haven't hit 5,500 to 6,000, it's kind of like our, okay, like we need to be planting some seeds here and do some more follow up because we're only trending 7,500 or 8,000. And that's kind of our enough. And so I just wanted to maybe leave you guys with, if right now your frontline volume is um, nothing and you're brand new, awesome. Do those three-way calls with your coach, okay? If your frontline volume is 3,000, well, I strongly encourage you to take it to 4,800 to six this month. If you last month or two, you've been flirting around six or 5,500 or you were a, a late finisher yesterday, 
um, just getting it right there. I want to challenge you. Make that decision to just, I guess, not do TSFL, but be TSFL. And when you start living it out and it comes from within, it's authentic. I, I don't want to say this because I know a lot of you are working hard and you're learning this, but I think you'll almost here in a couple months, you'll stumble on 10 grand only because it will start to flow and it'll become so natural. And you, you realize that Dan Bell and TSFL are not setting my standards and my accomplishments for me. I'm, I'm going to set them for myself and I'm choosing to raise them. And then Brad, I can't wait to see come the end of March since that's always a fun month um, to see the, the big thinkers club then um, because it's the decision that we make now to, to advance that. Doug, I just want to say I love you. I think everyone says the same sentiments. It is so refreshing just to be around people that make us think bigger and not in a way like, oh, we're not that good yet. It's like we all will be that good if we just commit. So I think I know I threw it back to you, but I just want to leave one um, last thought is most overnight success took a really long time. And that's what, you know, like, you know, it all adds up um, over time. So think about that. Um, One second here. Think big, and what I'd say with, with what Doug's there as we end up tonight, dig down deep with inside you, own yourself in a goal, and fall in love and fall passionate about what you want to accomplish. Make a plan and contend for that plan every single day. Like, I think that's where true excitement and passion comes from. And just to even kind of give you an example, like literally an example of being omnipresent, if this blows your mind, it's not about like you need to just – I did 2,500 frontline volume in one day just from following up and inviting people to be part of this. I hope that blows your mind. But honestly, if you're just being present, it's just a, it's just a reef. It's just something that happens when you're reaching out to others. So I hope you guys are finding this spot. If you guys are here at the end of January, I just want to speak to a few people. This might be if you're not feeling this passion that we're hearing talking about, keep contending. You will stumble upon it. That's what consistency does. So I love you guys. This was – I hope you guys enjoyed this call. Um, I just love that you guys invest in yourself and invest in this community. So let's go build our life around what matters most and think bigger and go after it. A lot of people's lives are at stake. Talk to you guys later. Thanks, Brad. That was awesome. Thank you both, Brad and Doug. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good job, guys. Thanks. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Doug. Thank you both. God bless you. Thank you. Have a great night, everybody.